It was welcome to Church House Westminster for Sir Alec and Lady Douglas Hume. Inside, the Conservative Party would assemble to choose their new leader. That it would be Sir Alec was a foregone conclusion. Sir Gerald Navarro, who is never mistaken for anyone else, was followed by Mr. Reginald Maudling, and autograph hunters reaped a big harvest. All the MPs were in jubilant mood. Mr. Marples doesn't mind anything that motorists say. He remains unflappable. Mr. Julian Amory was in good fettle. Mr. Butler, premiership prospects forgotten, was immersed in thoughts of foreign affairs. The new Prime Minister was confident that he would have a united party behind him when he took his seat in the House next day. Although there was no state opening of Parliament this year, there was considerable public interest as the ministers and members arrived. The reconstructed number 10 has a new occupant. The friendly crowd saw Sir Alec and his wife leave on their way to Parliament. The members were to hear in the Queen's speech the outline of the government programme. The business of the nation was once more underway. <laughs> <laughs> 